At Manila's elite universities, seemingly insulated from the world around, students go on to become leaders of government and industry. Here, they cement bonds and form networks that will help them advance after graduation, seen as a necessity in a country steeped in a system of patronage. On this bulletin board, fraternities entice new recruits with photos of successful men who joined the Brotherhood before them. But it was being part of a fraternity that put Mark Di Maano in hospital. A sharp nail entered into my nose. This was broken in my left cheek. And then it entered towards my right brain. So the right, right motor nerve was damaged. Mark Di Maano was at this bar with his frat brothers when suspected members of a rival fraternity threw a grenade at them. The bar has been repaired now and frat fights are nothing new. But such a brazen attack in a public place is causing alarm. Shotgun, uh, Police say fraternities are now mixing uh, with street gangs with worrying results. If we now combine the, tough, the toughness of these uh, guys in the street, plus the brains of those students in these schools, well, we really have a problem on hand. Doctors say Mark Di Maano was lucky. Others have been less so. A few months ago, university freshman Chris Mendes died after being beaten by his own frat brothers as part of an initiation. Various fraternities came together after Chris was killed to sign a memo condemning frat violence and upholding a law that was put in place 15 years ago. Anyone found guilty of such acts could face as much as life behind bars. But despite this and continued student indignation at frat violence, the number of casualties continues to rise. Mark remains loyal to his fraternity and even thanks them for helping him get through his ordeal. But his father says his dreams for his son have died. I hope this violence will stop. Being a father, I don't want to cry anymore. I want peace. There is talk now of banning fraternities entirely in universities like this one. But many here feel that for as long as the prevailing culture in the country remains one of patronage, there will always be a need for the brotherhood of secret societies. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.